Hey there, Becca here from Inside the Square. In this tutorial, I'm going to teach you how you can use two types of font for the title of a list section in your Squarespace website. Now what we're going to do is isolate the italicized font and the bold font type on separate lines and on the same line. So this code's a little bit complicated. Let's hop into my demo site so I can show you exactly how it works. So here we are in my demo site, and before we dig into the code, I just want to mention this code will work for a simple carousel or a banner list section. So I'm going to hop into edit mode to show you here really quickly. I have a list section right here. I'm going to select edit content, and under the content tab, if I click into the title, this is where I have all the information. Now I have the simple list title. This is in bold. I highlighted the text and just selected bold from the small text editor options here. This was highlighted and I italicized it. And then I have one word that's bold and one word that's in italic, italic font in the sentence underneath. So these sentences here are done with a soft enter where I'm holding the shift key and hitting enter. And then this one right here was just a full enter to create a new line. So that's how I have four separate lines here and that's why that spacing is slightly different. So again, you're going to need to make a particular text inside your title for your list section, either bold or italic to make this work. Okay, cool. I'm going to select done and we're going to hop over to design and then scroll down to custom CSS. Now all of this content here is called list section title. And again, this is for simple carousel or banner. And I'm going to use the code name over here list section title. And I'll open up a curly bracket to show you really quickly. If I just change the color to red and say exclamation point important, all of the text will become red. Do you see how the entire title is red, the second line, third, all that fun stuff. If we scroll down here, I've got another example. All the text is red. Let's say all we want is the bold text to be red. We need to add the word strong. Now check this out. I can say strong right here and only the bold text has now become red. Now, if you're using a separate font and you want to change the text and only the color, you still want it to be the same weight as everything else because it's bold, we'll need to reset that weight with font weight normal. So I'm going to add a semicolon after the word important and I'll type in font weight normal. And now you can see that text is no longer bold. It's just red. So let's talk about our other option here, the italicized text. Italic text goes by the code name EM. So instead of the word strong, we're going to say list section title EM. And now just the italicized text has become red. However, the font weight is fine. We didn't need to adjust that, but the font style is what's making it italic. So instead of font weight normal, I'm going to say font style normal and check it out. Now it's been reset so it actually looks like the rest of the text. So a few ideas for you. You can change the font family. I'm going to add a semicolon. I'm going to say font family. Let's go with serif, just a simple one. And now just that italicized font has become a serif font. We can change the size, font size, let's say 0.5 REM, that'll make it super tiny compared to everything else, even if it's included in the line right there. So if you're using an alternative font that looks way bigger compared to everything else on the line, definitely adjust the font size. Color we already did. Oh, and this one's fun. I threw in border and background. Let's scroll down to this other example down here. I'm going to go ahead and remove that font size. There we go. So now we have this text that is in a different font family. It's a serif font compared to the sans serif font directly above it, but let's go ahead, uh, we'll put the font size back and we'll make it just one REM, so it's just a little bit smaller, but check it out. I'm going to add a semicolon and I'm going to say border top 1px solid red. And now it actually has a border to separate it from the other line a little bit more. You can also give it a background color if you want to. Let's go ahead and give it a background color of a, of a solid yellow so it stands out and looks really weird. Now I've said background color yellow and it totally makes it stand out and look super different. So scrolling back up here, we'll see that that also stands out in, even when it's included in a line with other text. So a couple ideas for you, font family, size, color, border, background, you've got all kinds of options. 
Uh, for those eagle-eyed viewers here, I did say background color. We can also just say background for this type of text, totally interchangeable. Feel free to use whatever codes you're comfortable with. Now, however you've styled it, just select save when you're done and you'll be good to go. Alrighty, that's it for this tutorial. The codes we just went over are listed in the description below. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you learned something awesome. And most importantly, have fun with your Squarespace website. Bye for now. If you liked this tutorial, you'll love my CSS cheat sheet. I put all of my pro tips and custom codes specifically for Squarespace into one PDF, and you can download a copy right now at insidethesquare.co forward slash CSS. That's insidethesquare.co forward slash CSS.